Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We'll be talking about commercial real estate in Central and Eastern Europe. So good Friday morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. And we are weekend ready. Glad it's coming. This week's coming to an end and ready, ready for the weekend. I am ready for yeah, the weekend. Good, yeah. Good, yeah, Always ready for the weekend. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Good to see everybody here. We are just finalizing everything, but let's shoot over to uh, Winston Norman, our editor-in-chief, and give us the highlights for the day. Thanks, Craig. So we'll start in Romania, and retail deliveries continue in small Romanian cities. Uh, staying in Romania, and WDP has, has, has bought a warehouse near Pitezzi. Uh, staying in the warehouse sector, Accolade has completed a second warehouse park in Białystok. And finally for today, uh, Regista has renewed its warehouse lease in Birun in Poland. Well, so a little bit about Romania today, yeah? A little bit about Romania. Great, great. Well, following up on all that, we're doing a lot um, already for uh, launching our next events and magazines. So we want you to be involved in all of them. Our retail awards and marketplace, CEE, also covering SEE in Prague, September 19th. Anything you're doing in real retail, uh, in Central Eastern Europe, Southeastern Europe, pop over, see our event, uh, come to our event in Prague. Uh, there's a lot of events on retail happening in SEE and CE that week, but I think that day you, you don't want to miss the Prague one. There are a lot of new retailers coming, uh, some web based retailers, um, uh, leisure, a lot of technology, a lot of information on metaverse coming, and a lot of experts there and hearing some for some retailers what's happening on it. Also, the marketplace, just meeting, meeting, meetings, meeting set up, doing deals with retailers and, uh, and owners. It's a great way to, to help out your leasing team set up meetings with new potential uh, retailers looking to expand in the retail. Um, also, we have in the evening our retail awards. And again, great opportunity to see who's really taking the space and who's really uh, um, kind of leading leading the action on the retail side, the retailers and the trends of what are the shopping centers that are really delivering these days, the numbers. So September September 19th in Prague. After that, um, October, October, big investment month. We're kicking it off with the investment, uh, the investment guide, which goes out at Expo, uh, Expo Real from the 3rd, 3rd of October. And uh, Winston, I guess you're starting to work on that quite a bit. Yeah, yeah trying to get a bit of it out of the way before I so, go on vacation. So Greg. some are, are articles coming in and you talking know. to some investors already and uh, they're keeping their powder dry. Yeah. Good. So for, don't know anything just yet. For Expo. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's great. Uh, right after that, we have the CRE Awards. Uh, two weeks after Expo Real, we have the CRE Awards September. Uh, October 19th in uh, in Hungary at the uh, Budapest Intercontinental. Great event for Southeastern Europe. We're covering, of course, Hungary being the biggest market, but Czech, Slovakia, uh, Serbia, a lot coming in from Serbia, Montenegro, a lot of projects from there as well. Um, um, Slovenia quite a bit. So different, uh, that, that region is really kind of pulling together and all meeting and a uh, good, great meeting point, point in Budapest. Uh, September 19th, that's CRE Awards. And right after that, uh, we have our kind of really the investor meeting point here, uh, probably the only event where everyone, all the investors are really meeting for Central Eastern Europe at our event, uh, the Investment Awards here in Warsaw, October 26th at the Intercontinental in Warsaw. So anything about retail, retail marketplace, retail awards in Prague to the CRE Awards, Southeastern Europe and um, and uh, the investment awards, any kind of nominations or anything that you would like to nominate, companies, projects, deals, now's the time to get them in, I think, yeah? So at least it's time to put them in. Uh, also with uh, attending the event or take a look at the websites, we got very good juries already for it. Uh, confirmation, a lot going on, a lot of new sponsors as well already confirmed. Um, so just shoot me a message if you'd like to get some more information about any of these events. Having said that, we'll take a little break and we'll come right back with the Winston Norman, our editor in chief, and the full edition of the news before the weekend. Smith. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is Craig Smith, publisher of EuropaProperty.com. Welcome to the fifth annual Europa Property CRE Awards and the only international real estate awards event based in Budapest, Hungary and covering the region. This year's awards really highlight the professionalism in the region and with over 40% of the attendees flying in for the event, it is truly international. Meet the most active investors, bankers and developers in the region. The CRE Awards is not to be missed. Visit our website, CREAwards.net or EuropaProperty.com. So welcome back. And uh, yeah, Winston, let's, uh, let's hear the news. A lot, of, a lot of interesting highlights there. Sure. So uh, according to Christian and Wakefield Equinox, there were four new retail projects with a combined leasable area of 30,000 square meters delivered in four smaller Romanian cities, cities in the first half of 2023. Uh, however, according to the company, uh, new supply will be significantly higher in the second half of the year with almost 260,000 square meters coming mm -hmm. online. Uh, the biggest delivery in the H1 2023 was uh, Fun Shop Park Vasilu, which uh, was developed by Scalia. Uh, and in the second half, the biggest retail projects slated for delivery include uh, Nepi Rock Castle's Promenada Craiova, uh, Oasis Consulting's Primer Shopping Center, and... Um, which around which has seventy thousand square meters and uh, oh, big one, yeah, it's a big one. And the uh, and the, uh, the the one from Nepi Promenade has got like seventy eight thousand square meters. So sizable, they're sizable uh, shopping centers there. Something back like the nineties. You know? <laughs> it is big definitely a step back in time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Romania good, good is a li hear. little bit behind yeah. the rest of the rest of the world. But um, yeah, so so some interesting news there to come by the end of the year, uh, staying in Romania and uh, industrial developer WDP has become the owner of the warehouse, uh, a warehouse near Pizzetsi, uh, following a sale and leaseback deal with uh, SFC Solutions Automotive Romania. And uh, the site has around 20,000 square meters and it's located near the Renault Dacia factory, uh, which is the, one of the main customers of the tenant. Mm -hmm. And the investment project stands around a 10 million euros uh, value. And according to Emilian Podar, uh, from Crosspoint, which is the agency that worked with the seller on the deal. This type of transaction is evidence of the sustainability and maturity of the local industrial market. And uh, yeah, that, that kind of uh, corresponds to reports from Romania, which mm -hmm. along with retail, industrial sector seems to be moving along quite nicely there. Yeah, Romania always seems to do, be doing well. You know, you don't, you don't really hear a lot of uh, um, like inner uh, or in, um, institutional funds buying, but a lot of projects happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely a lot of projects going. Different on investors now. buying into it. So great to hear Romania is continuing to do well. Uh, the whole, I think, SCE in general is doing pretty well, and you know, great to see that things are going on well here. Yeah. Anyway, we moving to Poland. Oh, we're moving to oh, I thought moving to done. Poland. Yeah, got a bit, bit more to go. And um, yeah, Accolade has completed an industrial park in Horos. Uh, in Poland, which is near Białystok. Um, the new industrial park uh, has two buildings and it's around uh, 38,000 square meters of space. And according to Jarek Vinuk from Accolade, uh, there are several reasons for the further development in the Podlaski region, but key factors include a qualified workforce and available investment areas. So yeah, that's got to be one of the one of the growing regions in Poland that may be a little bit untapped at the moment. Yeah, and Accolade there, I mean, on the investor side, you Quite a lot of news about them buying, continuing yep. to buy. Yeah, definitely uh, focusing a lot of their efforts in Poland lately. Right. Yeah, it seems like they're doing a lot of northern Poland as well. Yeah, yeah. And uh, finally for today, um, uh, Regista, which is a provider of transport, um, forwarding and logistics services, has renewed its lease for more than 17,000 square meters in Park Tishy. Uh, DC1. And according to uh, Marcin Stoshak, a leasing director at Regista, uh, the warehouse in Birun is very important for us due to its proximity to our key customers and clients. And according to Janusz Dudek, who's from Newmark Polska, who represented the tenant during the lease negotiations, Regista was driven to extend its lease not only by its own needs resulting from its growth plans, but also by the fact that its current location makes for an easy commute. And the industrial park is managed by the Czech real estate investment manager at RICO. Uh, on behalf of RCSN and White Star Real Estate. Yeah, so a lot going on. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you for all watching the Coffee with Craig show this week. We've got over 8,000 views per week on our daily news and over 25,000 views on our um, interviews. So if you're interested in being part of the Coffee with Craig show and you know, potentially coming on it, let us know. We can, I think I would say, even the last interview we uh, packaged, we had over 40,000 views on the interview. So everyone in, in, uh, in the sector definitely sees it.
So let us know, but enjoy the rest of the weekend. We hope you have good weather. Stay safe, and we will see you Monday morning with the news. Click here to subscribe to the Coffee with Craig show, and don't forget to share it with your friends.